to another episode of Practical IT. In this episode, we are covering the AOMI Partition Assistant. This was a viewer request, and we're going to go ahead and install this on my Windows box. I have already downloaded this, and we're going to go through the installer, but you can grab your own copy at disk-partition.com. Let's get started. All right, we're going to go ahead and minimize our browser here and open up Windows Explorer. And our file is tucked in downloads. And we're going to go ahead and install the PA, PAssist underscore standard dot exe. And we'll take a look at this software once we get it installed. We're going to skip the advanced edition and then continue through our installer. Accept their agreement. Next, 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 next. One more time and install. Okay, we are going to skip the user interface program and we're going to run the program. So when we start this up, it gives us a nice clean screen. And it shows our different partitions that we've got and we are going to experiment just a little bit with our main C drive partition. And we are going to choose to resize the partition. <clears throat> and as you can see in the interface here, we can grab on this button and we can just drag it to our new size. And so I'm going to go right about there and we're going to go ahead and say, okay. And so as you can see now, we have unallocated space here at the end. So we'll click on that. And if you right click, we've got additional options. We want to create a partition. And we are just going to accept the defaults. It has a drive letter, NTFS for your file system, and we can say OK. Now, we have done two operations, and to actually apply this and make it happen, we need to come up here to the top and click Apply. And it walks us through what's actually going to happen. And then there is a proceed button down here in the corner. All right, I'm actually sitting in front of the computer. And so we have done what we did in the first part of the video. As you can see on the screen, it does say reboot required. And if I hopefully can hold the microphone and the phone at the same time, Click the proceed button and it gives us the option to move into either the Windows PE mode or the pre OS mode. We're going to choose the Windows PE mode and click the OK button. And this will probably take a couple of minutes. As you can see, we've got a progress bar on the screen. It is moving at an okay speed, but I am going to 
fast forward through the rest of this operation until we get to rebooting the computer. All right, we are closing in on the end of this. We just jumped to 100% and the system is restarting. And we've got back to the BIOS splash screen and we should be booting into Windows PE right here, loading files. And it should complete our operation in just a few moments. And there we've got the AOMI partition assistant and it's loading. And it's going to perform our operations that we requested before. And this is going to take a little while once again. I'm going to pause the video now and we'll jump back in when we are closer to being complete. All right, and so we have reached the end of the partition assistant. I'm going to go ahead and click the button to restart now. And we should boot back into Windows and we will be able to see our newly created partition. I'll be right back with you momentarily. All right, so as you can see, hopefully, we now have two partitions of our hard drive. Drive C has been resized. And is now 700 gigabytes. And drive D, which is newly created, is the remaining 230 gigabytes. So that's the basic operation of AOMI Partition Assistant. We'll jump right back into that one more time. There are other operations that you've got here. Migrate OS, wipe the disk, safety partition, free backup. Uh, some of these are going to be options of the paid version, but not a bad little tool. Honestly, this is geared more towards people that are not trained in IT. I would not say that this is something I'm going to use again. However, if you're just getting started or if you're a casual user, this might be the perfect tool for resizing your hard drive. On that note, this is Jeremy signing off for the Practical IT channel. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Click the thumbs up button and leave comments down below. Thank you once again for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.